I want to tell you about how to win in a case when the odds are against you. Now normally in a legal case, a plaintiff prepares a complaint and files it with the court, and within a limited period of time, the defendant is supposed to answer. Now, if the defendant cannot answer the complaint in a, in a way that is satisfactory to him, what he does is he refuses to answer the complaint. And when he refuses to answer the complaint, according to the rules, the plaintiff should get a default judgment. But that's not what happens. What the summons says is that if you don't answer the complaint or make a motion under Rule 12 within a certain period of time, the plaintiff is entitled to a default judgment. So what the defendant does who wants to avoid the complaint is he either does not answer the complaint at all, so that he's in default theoretically, or the defendant files a document that purports to be an answer, but is not. And typically what the defendant does is he files a motion to strike a part of the complaint. That's not what he's supposed to do. If he wants to strike the complaint, he should file a motion under Rule 12b-6. But that's not what he does. What he does in that case is he picks part of the complaint and moves to compel them. He's doing this while he's in default. But does the court do anything about that? Well, the court says a document has been filed, so let's look at it. Aha! Uh -huh. The defendant figures out a reason why that partial motion to suspend a part of the complaint should be answered. He serves a very complicated argument. And so the court uh, says, well, you know, he's, he served an argument, so we'll allow it. So what we have had happen is a complaint was filed. It was not answered within the time specified by the rules. A motion under Rule 12 was not filed within the time specified by the rules, but because a belated argument was filed, the case is, is allowed to go on. Well, the defendant is in default, so you wouldn't think the case would go on. So what the plaintiff does is he files a motion to strike this improper response to the complaint. And at the same time, he asks for the default judgment that he's entitled to. It's not granted. So the defendant continues. He might file interrogatories, or he might file requests for admission. Since those are improper, he moves to strike those. But the court says, look, he's filed something, so why don't you answer? Why don't you respond? So you make a motion to strike the improper responses, and the court denies it. Well, this keeps going on and on and on, and after a while, the court says, you're not cooperating, so we're imposing sanctions against you. This is in a case where the plaintiff has filed a complaint, the defendant has failed to answer, and the court has imposed sanctions. Doesn't happen in every case, but it happens in some cases. It happens one case that I personally know about.